Hello and welcome to Automating Web Testing with Selenium and Python. My name is Marko Stanojlovic and I have diverse experience in IT industry, from system administration, storage, backup operations and support, to QA automation and open source projects. Overall, I can say that I'm passionate about automation. So let's go through the course overview now. In section one, I will talk about general basic principles of Selenium and Python, and as well, we will set up the testing environment. In section two, we will do also some basic manipulation with DOM elements, how to catch them, how to handcraft the CSS and XPack selector, for example. Then in section three, we will automate browser-related actions. For example, we will see how to fill in the form, catch one cell in a table, how to close alert in a browser, and many more. Then in section four, we will implement a page object model design pattern. I'll talk about in general how to implement design patterns and what is a page object model, how we can use it to have our testing code maintainable. In section five, I will talk about other design patterns and principles that will be related to general Python and general programming. Then in section six, we will do execution scaling. We will see how to use Selenium Grid, how to use Python multiprocessing module to execute tests in parallel. Then in section seven, we will see how to make our test cross browser, how to use headless browsers, run remote execution of tests in Selenium Grid. Also, we will use Chrome and Firefox browsers for that. And we will finish with section eight, which will be creating of a test suite. This section will be dedicated to put all the shown principles together and have just a small glimpse of real application testing. And requirements for this course will be just a laptop with internet connection. I will use Ubuntu 18 to demonstrate all the stuff. Here you can use other Linux distribution and also I will use Python 3.6 which is default version in Ubuntu 18. And for this, it will be good to have basic programming and Python skills.